Uriah Kaiser here at Potomac Mills in Woodbridge, where the snow is now starting to pile up outside. It's been an afternoon of small accumulations, little if any accumulations, but now at about 5.30 in the afternoon, things are starting to change. We've got about an inch, maybe to an inch and a half of, the, on, of snow on the ground right now. And, we, and there are people outside enjoying it. We found two guys over at a local restaurant, the Hard Times Cafe in Woodbridge. And while many people are stocking up on bread, milk, eggs, these guys got provisions of a different kind. You know, I got Bloody Mary mix. I got I got a bunch of vodka and um, 18 beers. I think I think that'll get me through till Monday. But I drive a Jeep. You can you can get to the store in a Jeep. When you when, when on a night like this, when you come out. What's the what do you pair this with when, you, when you're hungry? Is this is this a steak kind of night? Is this a fish a, and chips kind of night? What do you? Is a, truth is, I'm more thirsty than I am hungry. I agree. Yeah. Well, we get get your thirst before you get your drink. So. Now, in all seriousness, the threat for heavy snow and high winds and possibly blizzard-like conditions there that's still, that possibility remains. So we're. Uh, in all seriousness, we're not diminishing uh, the threat. This storm is still considered to be extremely dangerous, according to a National Weather Service statement that went out. Now, VDOT crews have been on the road all day long. Their primary focus uh, has been the interstates uh, since the storm uh, moved into our area about 10 a.m. on Friday. And we spoke with uh, Jennifer McCord at uh, the Virginia Department of Transportation to, uh, to fill us in on what they're doing over there actually been a little bit better than I think we were anticipating because people, we had more of like a staggered rush hour than we normally would, so folks were leaving earlier and it kind of kept the traffic lighter. I guess a lot of folks also stayed home and, and school was canceled, so that was actually helpful. Um, but it's actually been uh, pretty smooth so far, but the one thing that we think might throw a wrench as well is the high winds tonight, because that might blow, the, blow some of the snow we've already plowed, and also just really decrease visibility. So anyway, you're driving, you know, it's going to be really hard to see. Um, we're also anticipating whiteout conditions at some point tonight. Now, VDOT is encouraging everyone to stay indoors as the snow continues to fall, but if you have to go out for any reason, there are some things you can do to help snowplow drivers do their job and, and help stay out of their way. The court says to uh, give them plenty of room and stay behind them so they can get that salt and sand down onto the interstates and area roads. That's all from Woodbridge for now, outside Potomac Mills, where the snow is piling up. Stay with us. We'll be with you all night as this winter storm continues to bear down on the Northern Virginia area.